Hi there guys and welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Today I'm checking out the Hyundai Elantra 2015. Well, 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 the hottest chick in the D segment just got hotter. I mean the Elantra is the first car that comes to your mind when you think of one of the sexiest cars available in the Indian market today, barring of course the premium performance cars that would literally cost you a fortune. The Hyundai Elantra or the Avante is, uh, as it is known in South Korea, is a saloon car that was first launched in the year 1990. In India, it was launched in 2004 and went off-air in 2007. It made a strong comeback in the year 2012 when it was launched in its new fluidic avatar here in India and uh, around the world as well. Now, this very same model went on to win the North American Car of the Year at the 2012 Detroit Auto Show after facing stiff competition from the likes of Ford Focus and the Volkswagen Passat. It also won the South African Car of the Year 2012 and the Philippine Car of the Year at the 8th Manila international auto show making hyundai the first ever korean car maker to win the philippine car of the year award now i guess it's time to stop with the dinopedia thing and focus on my review so let's get started with the design for those who thought that the verna was a great looker in the c segment wait until you catch a glimpse of the seductive sedan that is breathtakingly beautiful gloriously gorgeous splendidly sculpted and meticulously crafted to perfection one look at it and you are not taking your eyes off it anytime soon. I mean the new fluidic Elantra was a stunning looking piece of art on four wheels and this minor facelift just pushes the bar further higher. It takes a super sexy design and makes it simply irresistible. The only things uh, missing in the previous rendition were projector headlamps and LED DRLs and well Hyundai almost have the habit of reading our minds don't they? Which is why you get gorgeous projectors, sizzling LED guide lamps and the fog lamps now are a lot more sleeker and even the front grille is more prominent than before. Coming to the profile it is as if the Fluidix Sculpture 2.0 design philosophy had no restraints on it and the designers were allowed to completely go berserk with what they had in their minds. I mean there are so many cuts and creases and sharp lines and steep angles that your mind would find it hard to stabilize itself and uh, your eyes would struggle to focus on just one design element. You get newly designed 10 spoke 16 inch alloy wheels and aerodynamically laid out outside rear view mirrors with indicated turn indicators that do perfect justice to the overall design of the car. At the back you get the combination lamps that look absolutely stunning and the overall design is undoubtedly best in class because it just flows like pure poetry and is a work of impeccable craftsmanship and immaculate artwork. Now the aerodynamic design is not only a feast to the eyes but also to your pocket because the sleek profile reduces forward airflow resistance and rear spoiler effect for improved fuel economy and driving stability. On the inside you get all black interiors with silver accents on the central console, AC vents and the steering wheel. The instrument cluster looks really sporty and is well lit up. The fit and finish is really top class and the ambience is really soothing and refreshing. You also get aluminium pedals for the accelerator brake and clutch giving you a feel that you're driving a GT race car. And just think for a moment, what can you expect for, from a manufacturer who usually overloads their hatchbacks with never heard of features when they come up with a luxury sedan? I mean, what you get is a feature list that is so insanely long and so sophisticatedly strong that it will suffocate you and leave you searching for your breath at the end of it all. So let's get started. Uh, first up you get a dual zone fully automatic temperature control which means you can set different temperatures for different parts of the cabin. This also comes with cluster ionizer and auto defog function. What's more you also get dedicated rare AC vents. Now you also get ventilated seats. Now I cannot think of any other car in the D segment in the Indian market providing such a feature and this needs to be experienced first hand to feel how special it is. You also get 10 way power adjustable or electrically adjustable driver seat uh, which also comes with lumbar support. I must say this is one of the best drives of my life so far and uh, I really didn't want to get out of the driver seat anytime soon. You also get 4.3 inch touchscreen audio system with CD MP3 player and uh, you also get USB aux input and Bluetooth connectivity options and in all you get uh, four speakers and two tweeters I believe for the top end model. You also get a cool glove box, you get smart key with start stop system and keyless entry. You have a park, rear parking camera with display on the 4.3 inch touchscreen plus uh, 
uh, rear parking sensors, you have automatic cruise control, steering mounted audio and phone controls, electrically adjustable and foldable rear view mirrors, storage spaces all around with bottle holders, cup holders wherever necessary. You also get tilt and telescopic steering, day and night inside rear view mirror and electrically heated outside rear view mirrors. I mean that is absolutely insane i mean and really suffocating i mean uh, i've just listed out a few there are plenty of them i have left it left out so you can imagine the kind of features it comes equipped with now talking about the engine options you get two engine options to choose from one petrol and one diesel you get a four cylinder 16 valve 1797 cc petrol engine that comes with variable valve timing puts out a maximum power of 149.5 ps at 6500 rpm and 177.5 newton meters at 4700 rpm and you have the option of choosing uh, from a six speed manual or six speed automatic gearbox coming to the diesel engine you get a four cylinder 16 valve 1582 cc diesel engine that comes equipped with variable geometry turbo and uh, it puts out a maximum power of uh, 128 ps at 4000 rpm and 259.88 newton meters of torque between 1900 and 2750 rpm and even the diesel engine comes with the option of six speed manual or six speed automatic gearbox now talking about my test drive experience i drove the diesel variant that comes with six speed manual transmission now let's admit it guys hyundai makes some of the most refined diesel engines out there and this one is no exception it is ultra smooth and the power delivery is nice and linear there is hardly any noise uh, that filters into the cabin. The gear shifts are smooth, the clutch is light and easy and the steering feel is just about perfect. It just lets you completely soak yourself in luxury that it has on offer and uh, while you are enjoying all the pampering, the cabin ambience, the suffocating amount of I mean, number of features available on board and above all the amazing drive quality just lets you transport yourself into a world of your own helping you forget even the worst day of your life. Braking is extremely good with disc brakes all around and suspension setup is again very good and the ride quality is undoubtedly one of the best. Talking about the safety features, you get, uh, I mean, uh, the Elantra has uh, uh, earned a 2015 IIHS Top Safety Pick Award. It has also received uh, NHTSA 5 star uh, rating for safety and uh, ANCAP 5 star rating as well. So, the reason for being a unanimous choice when it comes to safety is because of the unlimited amount of safety features available on board as well. So, uh, uh, starting with uh, you have uh, uh, dual front airbags and side and curtain airbags you get abs with ebd electronic stability control vehicle stability management hill start assist for the automatic uh, top end variant you get automatic headlamps and you also get silica tires which improve wet skid performance and reduced rolling resistance thereby enhancing fuel efficiency and apart from the above uh, like a few noteworthy specifications are the, i mean the ground clearance is 175 mm fuel tank capacity is 56 liters boot space is 420 liters which is more than sufficient i guess and uh, you have six colors to choose from white silver red black gold and blue mileage claim for the petrol is 16.3 key as 3 kmpl and for the diesel is 22.7 kmpl and price ex showroom hyderabad is 14 lakhs 38,317 uh, for the uh, base variant and goes up to uh, 16 lakhs 79,200 38 rupees for the top end uh, petrol variant and uh, starts with i mean diesel variant starts from 14 lakhs 83591 and goes up to 18 lakhs 26076 rupees for the top end automatic variant so that's about it i just hope you found this video useful until next time this is dino saying ciao take care and god bless